know, I was uh, watching something on television this morning, and they began to talk about R. Kelly, and I didn't know that he'd started, like, this cult falling of young women. And it's become uh, a thing where it's even, you know, they're talking about it in the news, that he has young ladies who are involved in this cult with him. And we all know that he's had his troubles as a pedophile. He married Aaliyah, the singer that passed in that airplane crash. Uh, Aaliyah, when she was 15 years old and he was 34. Then when I was in Detroit for a convention, I w was a women's convention in Detroit. I recall being in the uh, van and driving towards the convention center and some people were standing outside on the curb with signs to, um, in regards to R. Kelly because at that time he was on trial uh, because um, of some young uh, girl whom he had taken advantage of, and I believe she was about 12 years old. And uh, this was many years after Aaliyah, and he was 34 with Aaliyah, and now he has to be somewhere in his 40s when this was happening. And I recall thinking about him and these people. Um, he didn't uh, receive any jail time. It was a big uh, court thing, and he got off scot-free. But he is still messing around. He has a perverse mind, a perverse energy, a demonic spirit and he can't seem to break it I know that he grew up in the church because when you hear him sing whatever songs that he sings and all of his songs are sexual and I don't listen to anything that he sings but R. Kelly got his time to start when I was a radio announcer playing that kind of music you know uh, knocking boots and all that kind of stuff that he sang um, those nasty kind of you know I want to make love to you kind of music that he used to sing and and so um, he was very much into um, being nasty, sexually, explicit in his, um, you know, not so much explicit, but you knew what he was talking about. You knew what he was singing about. You knew what was on his mind when he sat down and wrote whatever he wrote and these songs. And definitely he has a perverse and sick mind. And he can't seem to get his mind off a of young girls and young ladies. Now he started this cult following. And I don't know how many women are involved, but I know that there's some involved because they're starting to release this information in the news. And it's concerning to me because he's not alone. He's not alone in these things that he's doing. He has plenty of money to draw young women to him. He has plenty of success and accolades and he continues to be invited onto shows and programs. When these sick and perverse people are out there, they need to be shut down and they need to be blacked out and their names need to be wiped off the slate so that these young girls coming up won't be following them and won't be so excited to get near them and won't be, don't want to be part of the entourage or the enclave or whatever it is that this guy has started. He's sick. He is sick and he needs help. I pray that the Lord step into his life and do a mighty work and clean him up. And I pray that he sees and understands the things that he is doing wrong. He is a man himself with at least one daughter, and I know that he has one because somewhere I read that his daughter was gay and he didn't particularly care for that. But he's a man who has children, and certainly as a father he should understand. And he should respect young ladies and young women and women of every sort and people of all kinds. We are not playthings. We're not sexual toys. We're not to be used and abused and cast aside and to be romped up and down in beds and all of this nastiness that is going through his head. I pray that God heal the land and wipe and purge him of every iniquity and every ill thought that is going on in his mind and everybody who is like him, that he save the children and save the people from the scourge of the enemy that is wiping across this world. It's not just here in America, it's all over. I recall that story of an Australian father who put his daughter down in the basement and sealed her up, and he went down and had sex with the woman, his daughter, nine children by her father. The mother is living upstairs in the house. These stories are all over the world. They are sick and perverse people all over the world. My Lord God, Jesus, step into the minds of these people. Help the children, Lord. 
Help, Lord, and save them from sex trafficking and all kinds of ill things, Lord. Save, Lord, save and protect. Grow up your hedges around the girls and the young boys because it's not just the girls these things are happening to. All these foreign countries, they got young girls and young boys being pulled into sex trafficking. Lord, you know, you know, and you can save, Lord, and you can heal. You can get them out of every dangerous situation. Cover them in the blood of Jesus. This I pray right now in Jesus' precious name. My Lord.